Hi, I'm Doug Barber, sports writer with the Sun Herald. Hey, I'm Patrick McGee, sports writer with the Sun Herald, and we're the sports guys. And we're going to be discussing the big games of this week. I'm going to be talking about the Gulfport Biloxi rivalry and uh, Ocean Springs Hattiesburg. I'll be talking about Gauche Pascagoula in East Central George County. The uh, Gauche Pascagoula game is really setting up to be one of the the biggest games they've ever had in that I think this is the 13th year of the rivalry is split right down the middle six to six. Uh, both teams are fighting for a first round home playoff game. Uh, Pascagoula is going to be on the road at Gauche, but you know it doesn't. I don't think it really matters in this rivalry. Both fans are going to show up. It's going to be an intense environment. I give Pascagoula just a slight edge. I think they've got a little bit more uh, talent up front on defense with Jawan Collins and and Keith Joseph Jr. So I give Pascagoula just the slightest of edge, but I think it's really going to be a game that goes down the final uh, five minutes. East Central is looking for a playoff bid, first time since 2002. Uh, if they could clinch it this weekend with a this Friday with a win over uh, George County, East Central knocked off number one Picayune last week. That's one of the biggest upsets we've seen around these parts in a long time. East Central is a, a program that's had a hard time getting going, but Seth Smith has done a really good job there, and I think East Central takes care of business. The only way they get in the postseason is if uh, Stone loses to uh, Picayune. If that happens, I see East Central winning that game and getting in. Yeah, a couple of great games there. I'm going to, in the Gulfport Biloxi game, Gulfport needs to win to make the playoffs. Biloxi, they're playing for bragging rights. This is the 90th time they play the series start in 1920. I'm going to go with Gulfport in this game. Uh, seem to have a little more edge talent wise, especially speed on offense. They play a little better defense. Biloxi, you're never quite sure what their defense is going to look like from week to week. Now, two years ago, their defense played the best game of the season. Gulfport had to kick a field goal to win in the last few seconds. I think it's going to be a great ball game. I'm thinking Gulfport's going to win about something like 24-17, something like that, because they haven't had the ability so far to really put a team away. And Blux has a good offense, so I think they're going to hang around. The other game, huge game, Ocean Springs-Hattiesburg. Ocean Springs, really good defense, just like DeIberville, another team in the district who's doing well. And... They're playing a Hattiesburg team that really just couldn't get it going last week. A lot of turnovers. I'm thinking Ocean Springs, same sort of thing. I don't know they're going to get six or seven turnovers, but I think they're going to do well enough, keep the game down to a certain amount of time with their running game, and then win this one. And, again, we're going to look at like 17 to 10, something like that. I mean, we've had a lot of low-scoring games in 6A this year, but that's kind of how you know I'm looking at it. And uh, – you know, this is the last week of the regular season, and hopefully we'll see you all out there at all the big games this week.